Hi, this is Chris with Cloud Computing for Kids. Today we're going to be looking at how to make an EC2 instance. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to search up EC2 instance in the AWS console. Next, we're going to look for the launch instance button uh, and go ahead and click on that. So there are a lot of options here, but for this, uh, we're going to be choosing Amazon Linux 2. So we get uh, there are a lot of options as well uh, and like different storage sizes and such however since we want this to be free we're going to choose a t2 micro and we're going to configure our instance details so uh, we're going to keep the network the same uh, but we need to change the user data so first we're going to put a bin bash statement this will allow the code to not break and us uh, and it allows us to access the website so I'm not able to put the code in the YouTube description, so please uh, copy in it, copy it from here. Uh, so next, I'm going to copy and paste everything. So uh, the yum update is updating the Linux, and the then we're installing HTTPD, and we're starting it and enabling it. This allows us to access the and create a website. And finally, we put a little bit of HTML just to tell uh, where the uh, we're accessing it from and finally we're going to go into the next section we're not going to actually touch anything here and finally add tags so this is going to be the name uh, so we're going to name it name and you can name this whatever you want uh, but for this we're going to name it something like demo ec2 uh, cloud computing for kids or cc4k uh, and finally we're going to go to security group so we need to add HTTP rule and this allows us to access uh, the website from basically anywhere and finally we're going to review and launch and everything looks good so I'm just going to go ahead and launch now and make sure to create a new key pair and download it this will be the only time you're able to download it and make sure to save it because we will use it in the future so just make sure you don't delete it and you can only download it right now. So finally we're going to launch our instance and we get to this new console and we can go ahead and click on our instance. So up here we have the public IP uh, v4 address and the private IP v4 address. Uh, down here as you can see we chose a T2 micro earlier so it is a T2 micro and is currently pending but in a few seconds it will be running and uh, I just went ahead and skipped ahead. So next we're going to click on the IPv4 or public address. Uh, this will not work. We have to get rid of the HTTP in the beginning. And as you can see, the, uh, it displays our private uh, IPv4 address here. And finally, we need to delete the instance. So we just go ahead and right click and terminate the instance. And then we're done. Thank you for watching.